Hello, I'm Pete Ware, and welcome to How to Set Up WeBid. You're going to need three things before you start to set up WeBid. One is a copy of WeBid, preferably 8.5. Next is FileZilla, FTP, which is free from SoundForge on the internet. The next thing is a hosting account. In my case, I go to one.com because I'm in the UK. This is one.com. You have a free hosting package, all you have to pay for is your .co.uk or your .com. Uh, the free package will do perfectly alright for WeBid. Join, pay your money, £6 a year, that's all you need to pay. Uh, they'll email you all the details you need to set up your website. So when we've done that, we'll set up the FTP. These are the settings that one.com will set it, send you. Most other decent hosting companies will do the same. If not, you can ask them for them. Uh, these are the main ones we're going to need. The database and the FTP. Right, so we'll start. The first thing to do is install the FTP. It's over here. you've got your FTP up and running. This side that you can see is your space on your host server. This side, self-explanatory, is your hard drive. I've already navigated to where I've got my WeBid installed on the hard drive. First thing to do, Site Manager, create a new site. The settings that we need are the FTP settings that you've been sent from your host. Copy this into the host, username and your password. That's all you need. Say OK, then connect. So I'll go through it, connect. This side would normally be empty or it could have just have a couple of files in, whatever's in there, just delete a lot. Go over to your WeBid folder on your hard drive and take all the files in it. You can just click on the top one, drag all the way down to the bottom one, press shift and click the bottom one. You can select all the files, drag them all over to your right hand side to your host. Once you've copied all the way through, that's all you need to do. You can minimise that for now. Your next thing, you're going to have to go to wherever you've hosted it. In my case, it's webauction.co.uk. First thing you have to do after they do then is put slash install slash install PHP. Then you'll be presented with the WeBin installer. Again, we're going to need the settings that you've been sent by your host. I'll just pull them up. I've simplified these two middle ones. Normally, they're a bit mixed up. First thing, you need your email address. Whatever your email address is, put it in there. Next thing, database username. Well, the first thing you're going to have to do is database host. There's your settings, copy, paste, and put them over this side. Your database host. Next thing, database username, copy, put in username, password. Obviously not my password. Copy. Put in your password. Database name. Copy. Put in your database name. Once you've done all that, I'll do it with my pre-set one just to show you what happens.
obviously these aren't your settings, these are my settings. Once you've done all the settings, click install. First screen you should get to, step two. Run step two, it should go to 100%. If it doesn't, there's something wrong with your site. 100% complete. Now if you read it, it says installation complete. Now set up your admin account here and remove the install folder from your server. That's why we've left FileZilla open. Right hand side again, that's your server. Go to the install folder. Right click and delete it. Yes. At this point, I must stress, HT access is not needed on one.com and not needed on a lot of hosts. It's up to you. If it doesn't work first time, that's probably the reason why. Just delete it. Once you've set it up, click on your admin. You have to put your own admin name and password in. Again, I'll put Weebid. First time you click it on some host, you have to do it twice. Here we go. It's probably a problem with Weebid. It will get fixed at some stage. Log on twice. Remember, use the same username and password each time. Right, you're in the admin backend now of Weebid. Two important things when you're in Weebid. One is there is a cache in the graphic interface and there is a clear cache in the home. Don't forget these two. These are one of the most important things and one of, one of the only things that ever gets a lot of silly questions on WeebidSupport.com. People doing things and not clearing the cache. It only takes a second and it can save a lot of trouble. Later on when I show you how to make themes, if you don't use the clear cache, you don't stand a chance. That's it for now. When you want to see your site, come up to the top. Just put your site name in without anything else. Press enter. And there you are. Set up Weebid. I'll be doing the themes next. Bye for now. See you all on the site.